batter up a pizza hut. Go online to batteruppizzahut.com or text the word hut on your mobile phone to 22700 to enter for your chance to win. You and your friend receive a vacation to San Francisco and a chance to see baseball's best. Or play to win other great prizes. Want more? Get America's favorite pizza, Pizza Hut. This new Dodge Challenger could be yours. Just visit your participating Northwest Dodge dealers to enter to win a brand new 2008 Dodge Challenger. The car is on display right now at Safeco Field. Five contestants will be chosen from entries and given tickets to the September 5th Mariners game at Safeco Field. That's right, you could be on the field for the final drawing to win keys to a brand new 2008 Dodge Challenger SRT8. To enter, go see your Northwest Dodge dealer today. Sixteen-year-old Giovanni knows a thing or two about adversity. There you go, good. Shortly after his birth, he was diagnosed with sickle cell disease, a genetic disorder that affects the red blood cells. The symptoms can be debilitating and range from severe bone pains to strokes. When I first had my, my first sickle cell pancreas, it felt like I was just like I was going to die or something. That's how I felt to me. It just, it just hurt real bad. Feeling his pain can't help take the pain away from him and seeing my child laying there and sometimes you're not knowing it, it could be the sickle cell the crises acting up and it could be other things for nearly six years now giovanni has received ongoing care at the odessa brown children's clinic he's just one of hundreds of families in our state who've benefited from their sickle cell program the program began nearly 35 years ago at a time when many patients living with the disease were not receiving adequate care. The idea was if you really want patients to be seen, bring the clinic to where the patients are, which was a you know, beautiful, important, revolutionary idea. It's an idea that resonates with the Lenny Wilkins celebrity classic. To date, the NBA legend and his friends and family have helped raise nearly $2 million for the clinic, resources that go beyond providing basic medical care for families. They provide hope. The clinic is basically like family to me. You know, anything that I'm needing assistance for as Giovanni is concerned, it's no question. I can pick up the phone and someone's gonna respond. You know, and I love that about the clinic. play it hard, we want to play it intensely, we want to play it fiercely. It really comes down to um, beating Washington State. It's a rivalry, I don't think there's any question that, uh, you know, they they felt like, you know, they were the underdogs a lot, and they felt like they had, they had more to prove. A great rivalry is one that's hotly contested okay, that uh, the years have determined that this is a battle royale. There's no question, rival games uh, it brings the, the talent level of the two teams closer together, and the, uh, you have to be ready to play or you're going to be in for a long day. You know, we want to win. I learned the importance of it my first year as a head coach. It's home field advantage, you still want that, and, and I think Husky Stadium is an advantage in the Apple Cup. With uh, 72,000 people screaming and hollering and the band playing, uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's a thrill. Rather than just hearing the sound, you can actually feel the sound on those games. Come into Husky Stadium, the Apple Cup, uh, they have to listen to our fans, and, uh, and we've got more of them. What's great about uh, the, the Apple Cup and, and how it affects so many people is because you have, in many cases, split families. My dad was a, was a Husky, played offensive tackle for the Huskies uh, back in the day. Husky coaches were friends of mine, and uh, it's 
best when you compete against your friends. It's kind of an important week. It's a fun week. There's a lot of bragging rights down the road when you run into people that, hey, remember that game? That's the thing I regret probably the most about my coaching career at Washington State is just didn't get enough Apple Cup victories. What can you do with a degree from the WSU? And the, I, I learned that you could put it in your day so it would allow you to park in handicap parking. Go dogs! My favorite Apple Cup uh, team would obviously be the, the 91 team. I think it was 91, uh, you know, the Huskies are uh, looking like they're going to be, you know, co-national champions. The 91 Husky team, I, you know, is one of the best I've seen, I, and I still think that uh, they should have gotten the national champ championship all by themselves. Uh, I hadn't seen a team as dominating defensively. The defense was the most outstanding thing about that, about that team. Uh, they just dominated everybody that they played. The ability that that team had to, to thrive off each hit it was just awesome to watch. You could see the players build momentum. But if you look at that defense, I think the defense, uh, two defenses stick out to the Huskies to me, um, was the 84 defense that, that won the Orange Bowl against Oklahoma and the 91 defense that uh, uh, went on to be co-national champions. Uh, just phenomenal defense anchored by Steve Entman, but uh, you know, they had so many good players on that defense. Bledsoe looking left all the way, trying to go to Williams, intercepted. Walter Bailey, can he get in for six? He does! No flag! I still don't know that I've heard uh, a louder place uh, in all of my football career than, uh, than it was when we stepped out for the Apple Cup over there in Seattle in 91. I mean, that place is so loud, you can actually feel it. Rather than just hearing the sound, you can actually feel the sound on those games. In offense, they had some great players, and uh, Billy Joe Hobart, Mark Brunel, and on and on and on. By the time we got to uh, the, the Apple Cup in the 91 season, our young players were experienced. Back on the 30-yard line, and going deep is Billy Joe Hobart to Orlando McKay. He's got him at the 30. It's a foot race. He's gone. Touchdown, Washington. Billy Joe was probably one of the all-time greatest quarterbacks we've ever had. I don't believe that he ever lost a game at the University of Washington. Mark Brunell was one of our outstanding quarterbacks. He came in and was a, was a gifted athlete, uh, great speed. He, he could accelerate out of the pocket about as quick as anybody we've ever seen. Mario Bailey was uh, an interesting uh, local character. Uh, I've never seen a, a player from Seattle that played for us that got more homesick than he did. And I, and I thought he, he might even go home and, and, and leave the university. but. Uh, he was, uh, he was really quick. He was the most difficult guy to tackle in the open field. And I think that if, uh, if we had let him catch punts and kickoffs, we would have, he might have won the Heisman Award. I walked across the field and shook Don James's hand after the game and said, we'll be a lot better than this. We'll never be as bad in this game as we were this time. I coached for 38 years and I never had an undefeated season in, in high school or college or whatever. And, uh, uh, it, was a, it was a very talented group of athletes. We had experience, we had youth, we had speed.